Once a year, we come together to acknowledge, confirm, and recommit our focus to safety. Not only when we're performing military tasks, but also when at home with our family and friends. My goal is for everyone to return home to their loved ones, healthy and safe, after each month's drill. Likewise, it's my hope that everyone returns to drill the next month healthy and safe. This last year, we've lost over 900 of our fellow soldiers through combat, accidents, and other causes. That is equivalent to removing over three aviation battalions from the Army. The impact of such a loss is dramatic to the military, but it's an immeasurable loss when viewed from the perspective of surviving family and friends. We must continue to be our brother's keeper and look out for each other, being aware of our surroundings and our situations. The old adage, if something doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. It's just as true today as it has always been. That feeling is your experience telling you to be careful and be aware. We cannot continue to lose valued members of our military family. The primary cause of human error accidents is complacency. We get comfortable with our activities and let our guard down. No matter how well an individual is trained, we must constantly fight to stay aware and focused on the mission at hand. When we relax and allow ourselves to become distracted, we allow ourselves and those around us to be exposed to danger. On March 13, 1993, the Minnesota Army National Guard suffered its greatest loss of life in its aviation history. The drill was not like any other the crews flew up to Camp Ripley for the weekend. They had completed their task and were heading back to the airfield along the east boundary road. It was an absolutely beautiful winter's day without a cloud in the sky. The flight of two Hueys were minutes from landing at Camp Ripley. They were done at the end of the day and they were relaxed. Actions taken within the next couple of minutes completed the chain of events that resulted in the two aircraft colliding in a midair. Seven of our group had left home for that day, that drill weekend, and as they had done hundreds of times before. Five of our group would never return, and the remaining two members of the flight were seriously injured. That sudden an unexpected loss was devastating to their families and friends. Many in the room with us today knew these people. We remember them with fond stories of past memories, but unfortunately we remember them more often for the day in March. It is in their memory that we have these safety days. It is in their memory that we meet to discuss and learn so their fate is not lost on us following in their footsteps. I ask that you stop by the memorial in the lobby of the facility at St. Paul and take a moment to read the inscription. Take a moment to realize how fragile our lives really are and how important it is we look out for each of us. Remember, safety is about protecting what we have and keeping it from future harm. Thank you for your time, and remember, everyone is a safety officer.